It's all about treats and less tricks on this evening Sunday sit down. I'm joined with Victoria Varnado, public information officer for the Portsmouth Police Department. She's here with some safety tips for parents and other families as well and for kids going out there tomorrow night so they can get more candy and not get into harm's way. Thank you for being here tonight, Victoria. Thank you for inviting me. Of I'm course. very excited. It's Halloween. I know. I, your nails are perfect <laughs> oh, too for it. You. It's green and black. <laughs> so let's talk about some of those important safety tips. What are some of those things that you guys want parents to be aware of every year ahead of Halloween? So the top three things that parents can keep in mind is visibility, situational awareness and traffic safety. Mm -hmm. We want you want to opt in for face paint instead of a mask on your child so that they can have complete visibility of their surroundings. Um, you want to maybe get some reflective tape or reflective vests on their costumes. You can even buy reflective candy bags now um, or use non-toxic glow sticks to really increase the am amount of visibility that they have so people who are driving can see them, your neighbors can see them. Uh, we highly recommend that you parents go trick-or-treating with their children uh, or find a local trunk or treat place. It's always safest to go trick-or-treating with your children. Uh, it's safer and you'll create lasting memories. Um, and then traffic safety laws. Never cross behind a vehicle when you're crossing a street. And I think it's important for us to also highlight some of those pictures are from your the department's <laughs> trunk or treat events the last few weeks. Yes. So talk to us about, you know, some of those events. What are those like for families? What can they find when they go to those events? So, um, you know, going to local community events for Halloween makes it easier, honestly, for parents and for safety professionals. Um, you know, there's less of a chance of something terrible happening, like a car crash. Um, trunk or treat is very, you know, locate, uh, central location. Uh, tons of people and community members come. There's always a guarantee on good candy. Yep. Um, we had a haunted house this year. Uh, we had 25 uh, employees and volunteers helping us with it this year, and we had nearly a thousand people show up. That's awesome. We were very excited, and we had a great time with everyone. Where was the haunted house? We had it down at the pavilion as part of the city's trunk or treat event. We had a great time and thank you to everyone who came. We had so much fun. Yeah, so definitely something I think that is really good that you talked about was talking about all the reflective kind of stuff, especially yes. with it getting so dark so early and we're yes. in a more urban area where there's cars driving quickly on some of the roads they shouldn't be. Um, you know, when, when you guys are out and about talking to parents, talking to families, you know, what are some of those ways that they can find and buy the, some of those things for to protect their kids? Um, you know, you can really find reflective tape like on online on Amazon. Uh, sometimes Walmart sells those reflective bags, I've heard. Um, you know, visibility is very important. We want people to be able to see you and you want your child to be able to see their surroundings clearly. And situational awareness is very important too. You want to know where your exits are, what's around you, never enter somebody's home. Oh, and definitely check your child's candy for any choking hazards before they get into it. So talk more, let's talk more about that too because that's a good point you brought up, talking about checking their candy. So what should they be looking for when they're talking about choking hazards? Oh, just, um, well, if you have a small child, sometimes when people pass out candy, they have those little, like, spider ring toys yeah. that you might remember. Uh, just, you know, make sure to check their candy for little toys or maybe a paper clip got in. You know, any of those little things that aren't edible, just to make sure that if you have a little one, they don't mistake it for candy. So do you guys have any more Trunk or Treat events coming up, or are they all done with for this year? Um, I I think there's some local community events that are still happening. I'm not 100%, but I got to tell you, Halloween's my favorite time of the year, <laughs> and I've really enjoyed it, and yeah. so have our employees and our officers. It's been great. Well, obviously, so did the thousand people that came out to the haunted house you guys put on, too. Yeah. So thank you so much, and we'll have the tips you guys gave us. We'll have those on wavy.com for parents, for a reminder for them ahead of tomorrow night. But thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thanks Victoria. for having me. Of